Hi, Pete here from Club Engineer. I just love the RoboCup Rescue Competition. Of the three RoboCup disciplines, dance, rescue and soccer, it's my favourite by a long shot. Rescue starts out easy enough and the first stages can be completed by a year 5 or 6 student with just a little support from their mentor. The RoboCup Rescue Competition describes a scenario where there's been a terrible chemical spill and a victim is trapped on top of a chemical tank. The environment is dangerous and rescue can only be made by an autonomous robot and it's our job to build that robot. Most students by year 5 or 6 are expert at building with Lego and they have no trouble inventing their own single sensor line following robot. Writing the line following software usually requires some guidance but once the students have been shown the basics they can have a working robot up and running after just one or two hour long sessions. As each of the RoboCup rescue tiles are conquered, students can be progressively challenged by adding harder and harder tiles. Straight lines and sweeping bends are easy enough to follow with a single sensor robot. The can can be pushed off the end tile by randomly sweeping the tile with the robot. These techniques won't work as tiles with sharper bends, turn hints and dead ends are added. These require a two sensor robot with a much more involved algorithm to code into the software for navigation. RoboCup is a race against the clock and after a while students will learn to trade off and to optimise the competing forces of robot speed and robot accuracy. As the student's journey continues they must modify their robots to navigate physical barriers such as the water tower, the bridge, the speed bumps and the seesaw. RoboCup Rescue is not only a fascinating and engaging classroom challenge, it's also an inter-school competition with regional heats building to state, national and international championships. Through participation in RoboCup, students learn mechanical engineering principles as they build and modify their robot. They learn software development and computer science principles as they write and optimise the software that controls their robots. They must balance the discipline required to learn the rules of software development while still expressing their creativity and problem solving abilities through the software they write and the robots they build. Most importantly, students learn self-organisation, time management and the vital life skill of being humble in victory while gracious in defeat. One of the pillars of the RoboCup competition is that we share our learning with others so we can all grow the quality of the competition and the experience for the students. I've been lucky enough to be mentoring students toward RoboCup since 2008. In this series of online lessons, or talkthroughs as I call them, I'll share what the students have taught me about RoboCup Rescue over this time. I hope to catch you at the next RoboCup competition. Be sure to come and say hi.